Azerbaijani dictator Ilham Aliyev has been escalating his rhetoric, referring to large parts of Armenia, including the capital Yerevan, as, quote, Western Azerbaijan. His claim is based on the history of the Erevan Khanate, an uncomfortable topic often avoided by Armenians. However, rather than choosing ignorance, which is the strategy favored by tyrannical regimes, we can openly discuss the Erevan Khanate, explore its history, and by doing so, we will all be better equipped the next time we encounter it. So without further ado, what was the Erevan Khanate? Armenia has a long history of being divided amongst empires with different cultural backgrounds. Here's a chart I make to show how long various cultures have ruled over Greater Armenia. Blue here represents an independent Armenian state. Now, let's map that onto a neat timeline so we can see when Armenia had an independent state and when it was under the suzerainty of foreign powers. It's important to note that this graph does not show the demographics of the people living there, nor the local entities governing Armenia, which came in varying degrees of autonomy. Some empires liked to exercise total control, while others were happy as long as they received a cut from the taxes. For example, during the Achaemenid Empire, the satrapy of Armenia exercised some degree of local autonomy, whereas Sasanian Armenia was a vassal state of the Sasanian Empire. Byzantine Armenia exercised provincial rule during the Byzantine Empire, followed by the Imarat Armenia during Arab rule. Armenian autonomy was significantly reduced under Seljuk and subsequent Turkic Mongol tribes with frequent invasions and changing rulers. While under Georgian rule, Zakarid Armenia existed as a de facto semi-independent state. This continued into a period known as Iranian Armenia when Armenia was part of the Iranian Empire. It is here that the Erevan Khanate was established in 1747 during the final years of Iranian rule. The Erevan Khanate covered an area corresponding to most of present-day Armenia, parts of Turkey and Nakhichevan, with its capital as Erevan. During its existence under Iranian rule, the Shah of Iran would appoint the Khans who acted as governors of the Khanate. The Khans who governed the Erevan Khanate were from the Qajar and Afsharid dynasties who were Iranian dynasties with a Turkoman background. What that means is they were part of the initial wave of Turkic tribes that invaded the Caucasus and ended up assimilating into the cultures where they settled, in this case Persian or Iranian. The official language of the Khanate was Persian and other commonly spoken languages were Armenian, Azerbaijani and Kurdish. The demographic composition included a majority of Muslims and a minority of Christian Armenians. The Muslims were divided into Persians, Kurds and various Turkic groups, including Azerbaijani Turks. I will explain why this is a very important point later on. Some of these groups were nomadic, while others were settled. The Armenians in the Erevan Khanate lived under the jurisdiction of the Melik of Erevan, a position held by the members of the Aramalian family, who enjoyed partial autonomy. The Melik of Erevan had the authorization from the Shah to govern the Armenians of the Khanate, possibly bypassing the Khan. Historical records of these rulers are limited, but it does raise intriguing questions regarding the extent of autonomy granted to the Armenian Melikdom, which is particularly interesting considering the inception of the Armenian Melikdom first appears after an administrative reorganization in Iranian Armenia after 1639, which notably predates the Erevan Khanate. But we are entering speculation territory here, so I digress. The Erevan Khanate ended with occupation by the Russian Empire in 1827. And that's pretty much it. The Erevan Khanate, 
a province established by the Iranian Empire where Iranian governors ruled over a diverse demographic including Armenians and Azerbaijanis within which Armenians had some degree of autonomy and it lasted a grand total of 80 years. So how on earth does this shape Aliyev's territorial claims today? In the mid-2000s, Azerbaijan started referring to Armenia as, quote, Western Azerbaijan, with a focus on the Khanates of the Caucasus. Azerbaijani maps began showing Turkic place names over Armenian territory. In his 2019 book Armenia and Azerbaijan, historian and political scientist Lawrence Broers describes this as a fetishization of the Erevan Khanate. Azerbaijani history books portray the Erevan Khanate as an Azerbaijani state, inhabited predominantly by Azerbaijani Turks. In those books, the term Azerbaijani Turk and Muslim are often used interchangeably to describe the inhabitants of the Erevan Khanate, despite us having historical surveys which identify diverse groups like Persians, Kurds, and various other Turkic tribes under the term Muslim. For more on that, I have a dedicated video debunking some of the most outrageous claims in Azerbaijani history school books. You'd be shocked at what they teach children in that country. But this entire narrative, as Broers predicted in 2019, would extend to future territorial claims, and unfortunately, his predictions have come true. Many international bodies, including the European Parliament, have condemned these territorial claims on, quote, so-called Western Azerbaijan, end quote. In all likelihood, this is probably a calculated move by Aliyev to pressure Armenia into relinquishing its claims on Artsakh. Except, Artsakh actually has a well-documented history of continuous Armenian governance and settlement stretching back millennia. By conflating Artsakh with the Khanate, Aliyev distorts history and fabricates a false parallel which he uses to undermine the territorial claims of Armenians he expelled from Artsakh. By openly discussing the Erevan Khanate and dissecting its history, we can see through the narrow interpretations propagated by nationalist agendas, whichever side it may come from. Whether Azerbaijanis or Armenians like it or not, the 80-year period of the Erevan Khanate is a chapter in Yerevan's millennia-spanning history, a history with the constant presence of Armenians through every single chapter, including the one chapter that's currently being misappropriated by the Aliyev regime.